So I built this robot chassis up yesterday and I liked it so much whenever I first opened the kit. I've had this for quite a while and I just put it together last night. Don't know if I'm gonna stick with this because this battery compartment actually rides upside down. I don't think that's gonna work like that. But I liked the little kit so much. I thought it was such a good deal. I ordered a few more. I have one here and I have one right here. So I have two more. I'm gonna build a total of three robots that are similar to this. Like I said, I'm probably gonna change change a few things. The battery's probably not gonna go on the bottom like this. But um, I did buy a couple more, like I said. So I figured I would show y'all how, uh, how the build goes of just the chassis itself. These are super cheap. They're $15 at, uh, at Amazon. And I do have a link down below if you're, if you're interested in that. It is an affiliate link, by the way. So let's pop one of these open and see what it looks like. All right, let's take a look. And this is just the chassis itself. There's no electronics or anything like that. Uh, I think you could reasonably expect the electronics Electronics to cost an additional $15 or so by the time you buy an Arduino or uh, it does come with instructions too, which is nice. There's a switch here. We're not going to install the battery compartment of the switch today. We're just going to do the rest of it. Okay, so and here comes an acrylic base and it is wrapped in um, it's got like a paper wrap on it and I'm not going to take it off just because I don't want to <laughs> it's not worth the trouble it also comes with a proceeds uh, this is kind of telephone stand thing you stick on your phone no, I probably won't use that that's nice though and it comes with a little is this a thank you card Dear customer, miss the sunrise can wait. Miss the beautiful scenery will come back. Miss the meteor can expect. But missed a friend can only help us. Dear friend, our time is different, but we are in the same space. When the sky have rainbow, it is me blessing for you in the distance. Good luck for you and your family. It's nice. Translation is bad, but it's a, it's a nice little thoughtful thing to put in there. I like that. Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and get started with this. Like I said, we have the acrylic base here. We have two tires and wheels. And then we have a little bag of goodies here. There are. There's the battery pack. We're talking about that will go on top of this robot at some point uh, there are this is nice a couple of well four wires for the motors those do have to get soldered on we're going to do the soldering at another point too we're just doing the simple construction today and then a little bag of parts oh and there's a, a caster wheel here too for the back and your two DC motors and a little bag of parts. Hardware and whatnot. Ton of little screws. There's a switch. These are, these little guys here are the motor mounts. We have some speed sensor or um, what do you call these? Oh, encoder wheels. They'll go on the other side of the motor. We need to make sure we put those on ahead of time. And then these guys here are the standoffs. These are to bring your caster wheel to the same height as your um, other wheels. So let's go ahead and get going. Contacts on the outside, put this here. Bring the motor mount up through here. Put the motor here. 
and then take a screw, a long screw, go through the motor, and then into here. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and throw the encoder wheel on. This is something I did not do on the other one, which I should have done. Hopefully it'll be clear. I think it's clear. Yeah, it's clear. Okay, and then we'll just take a nut. Put that on kind of loosely because the bottom one is a little tricky. So the bottom one, I, when I was doing this last night, you bring it in through the bottom, that's easy enough. But on the other side, you have you don't have a ton of clearance. They do give you room. You want to kind of angle it up a little bit so you have room to put the nut. Let me bring the camera to the other side. So you actually have room to put the nut in between there. If I'm explaining that very well. And then carefully screw that on. But the nut on the bottom screw is a little tricky. Might take a little bit of playing around with it. Tighten that down and then I'll get my needle nose to make it nice and snug. Okay. Okay, and then we'll mount the motor for the other side. Making sure the contacts are on the outside. Again. Put this on real loose. I still need to sneak that encoder in. And yes, the mac the motor is a little magnetic. So if you lose some hardware, check near the motor, it might be there. All right, let me see if I can still get my speed sensor on. I think I should be able to. Okay, speed sensor is on. Get the bottom one in. Okay. The bottom one's a tricky one. We'll go ahead and tighten this up a little bit. Not all the way, and then come back into the bottom. Barely have clearance for the bottom. But you do have it. Mount the wheels, they just press on. So, there is clearance. Okay, those are on. Now, the only thing we have left to do in this video is a little caster wheel. And you take, you take these little standoffs, come up through the bottom, and we're gonna mount all four of these little standoffs to
our caster. All right, then I'll just use my pliers and my screwdriver and make sure these are all good and tight. And the caster is going to be get mounted right here. Screw that in a little loose for now. And the chassis is put together pretty solid. I'm pretty happy with that. And you have a lot of space, room for activities here on top and a little bit on bottom too. Uh, not exactly sure how I'm gonna arrange this yet or what all I'm gonna have on it, but I know for sure it's gonna have at least an Arduino on top and it's gonna have a motor controller on top and it's gonna have at least uh, at least a couple of ultrasonic sensors, and I don't know what else it's going to have yet. It's going to be a work in progress. But yeah, I thought this was actually a pretty good deal for $15 delivered, for Amazon Prime anyway, uh, to get a full robot chassis that's pretty quick to build, and you even get the battery pack. And uh, we're not going to put these on right now, but then you just solder your black and red power wires for each one of your motors here and run them up to your motor controller up top. But we're gonna do that another day. Thanks a lot for watching. What do y'all think about this uh, chassis? Good deal for 15? Bye y'all.